Hello, hello, good evening, friends. How are we all doing this evening? I am doing quite well. Uh, let's see, making sure my sound's on. My sounds are working. At least OBS is saying they're working. OBS, please don't lie to me. But anyway, guys, how's it going? How are you all doing today? There we go. OBS is doing the thing. <clears throat> All right, so last time we streamed, oh, must be one of our quests. Yes. Okay, so we got those. Not a big deal. Anyway, we completed a whole bunch of uh, event quest stuff. Apparently we still got, well, no, we, we're done with that. We, ha we still have a whole list of story quests we need to knock out. Uh, go ahead and claim that. And, of course, we got our four dailies we need to knock out so we can get our Prima Gems. We're going to go do that real quick. But, uh, mostly, that's it. We're trying to propel the story forward. We're trying to, uh, get some things completed here. And at some point, I do need to worry about ascending... Weapons and such. Uh, Ganyu. Talents. Oh, yeah, we can, we can do a little bit of this. Let's make Ganyu a little more powerful, shall we? So that's level three. I'm gonna have to go make a few more of those, it looks like. Okay, so the shimmering nectar we need to make a number of. Make her a little bit stronger of a fighter. Okay, slip on down somewhere down this way. Um, that's the final one. Where's the rest of it? Hey, there we go. <laughs> well, come on now. I know you can craft those. Okay, I thought you could craft those. What? Yeah, I want to craft this one. Where's the shimmering nectar? It ain't in here, is it? No. I must be just overlooking it hardcore, because it's, it's got to be right here. There it is. Way past overlooking it. Okay, we'll uh, make 30 of them solid. Sucrose gives us a boost, so confirm that. And we got four bonus. All right, we can back out of this. Talents. Okay, max level, max level, max level. All right, so we can't do anything with that one. We could boost this one up. Skill damage, single ice lotus, celestial shower, ice shard damage to 88%, sacred cryo pearl that exercises evil. During its ability duration, a sacred cryo crystal will continue to rain shards of ice, striking opponents with AoE and dealing cryo damage. There we go. Okay. So, starting out, let's go knock out some uh, daily quests here. Hi, Moo. How's you? God, I love that animated emote. It's so cute. Ow, my back. <laughs> now I'm getting Spider-Man flashbacks every time I hear that or see that. 
I was getting ready for work, but then all of a sudden my back started hurting. I promised Quinn I would go and help out at his fruit stand today, but I think it's best if I rest here for a while first. I can't just stay here and hold everything up. Could you go and ask Quinn what he needs me to do? That will help me get prepared. Be fine after a short rest. All right. Actually, I don't think we've done this quest before. No, I've not done this one at all. I've dealt with the dandelion seeds half a dozen times, and those kind of get annoying, but... Um, game? What you doing? Why'd you leave me up here? Michelle has enough on her plate already. Let's help Quinn finish the job off ourselves. But we don't even know what the job is. Looking for primos on PS4 to try for Ganyu again. I understand. Let's beg him to give Michelle something that's a bit more manageable. Hopefully Michelle won't mind us stepping in on her behalf like this. Well, I... I do. So, um... Got me curious. How many... Okay, so I do have her at C2. I'm hoping... I'm thinking about throwing a little bit more money in, to get Prima Gems to, uh... Try to go for C3. I I'm fighting with myself over it. I really want to. It's that freaking addiction for gotcha. Where's my delivery? This is ridiculous. My fruit stall is all out of, all out of Sun Sietas. I ordered several batches a while ago. But they still haven't arrived, and my customers won't wait forever. Yuri alone has come by three times already, and I'll... <coughs> <coughs> okay, that was out of nowhere. All she wants is three Sun Sietas. She's been a regular customer for a long time, now I'm afraid I might lose her. You need to stay at the stall. If only we could go and pick a few wild sunsietas. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, you can have the, what, 3,000 of the things that I have. Michelle, you've seen her? I should give her a less taxing job. All I ever asked is that she watch the fruit stand for me. Oh, is that true? But with no more customers, it looks like we won't even need her to do that. Please tell her to go home and rest for me. I'll go and chase up that delivery in a moment. Yugi. I have to say, as a fighter, Ganyu has really proven herself. I've only spent s the seven I had on my PS account. Ah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to get you very far. Nothing to do at Quinn's Day anyway. Go home and rest up. Really? Looks like I should find something else to do. You're not going to take a sick day? Take the chance while it's there. Stop and feel what is happening all around you. That's Lord Barbados' win. Still hard at work. We are blessed by Barbados. It is not a privilege we should take lightly. We all need to do our part. As for your part, what have you been doing? Why are you sweating so much? It seems you're very busy yourself, but this is not a bad thing, for the more we toil, the more we sweat, the more keenly we feel the winds of Barbados. A bottle of milk? Seriously? Woman? Milk times ten. Interesting. Yeah, we got a few other things. Okay, uh, next on our list... No, we definitely don't want that one right now. Pudgy Pyrotechnicians. Actually. Oh, hey, mail. Version 2.5 preview pages here. Okay, we'll claim 3,000 more. Daily check-in rewards. We get three Adventures XP and 100 more Prima Gems. So what does that put us at? Are we close to a wish? Oh, we need 70. And we can have a wish. So, yes, we are actually really, really close. Reminded me, speaking of the dandelions... My experiment. Gotta give some sucrose love anyway. But, uh... We need some dandelions. I ain't been stocking up on them as much. Wait, really? There we go. Hmm. 
There's that. Alright. I don't think there was any more dandelion seeds to be had around here, right? Uh, time to go to battle. Oh, that's an iron chunk. We don't care about those. Crystal car. Oh, really? At least they go down fast. Two more. Wait, did I miss something over here? Uh, over here. Oh. Spark, spark. Spark, spark. Oh, was that all the sparking that was gonna happen? Hey, come back here. I can't hit you. There's one more. Where to go? Hey, where are you going? Okay. Back to the fun that just don't end. Wait a minute. What the heck? I've never taken this wall out? Guess not. It's hiding in here. Oh, nice! An exquisite chest. You give, you receive. T.I., big heck and dumb. Way to go. <laughs> Still noticed me. Dang it. No. Bad Healy Churls. Bad. We still gotta go that way. Feed all eight opponents. Okay. Oops. Oh, go down, big boy. Go down. Thank you. to blow myself up. Uh, come on. I don't know what we're taking down, but we're getting them tore down. Hey, would you... Tech, would you stop climbing it? Okay, there's that one. But it's only one bad guy. Ah, oh, there they are. Hey! Alright, you're annoying. <clears throat> Excuse me.
here to talk about your Lord and Savior, Raid and Shogun. Ooh, what's over here? Pine cones? Yep. Keep a flame a pyro on my team. Oh, wolf hooks. Nice. Anywho, small step for the Healy Churls. And I guess that would be the fastest way. Wait a downpour. Nothing will get done until it clears. Let this be a lesson to those who yesterday said I'll do it tomorrow. <clears throat> You're just always so insightful, Kokomi. How would anybody get anything done except for you? Uh, excuse you? Excuse me? Ah, you're annoying. aren't really much of a challenge anymore. <laughs> His little slime was electrocuting him. Ooh, free stuff. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I like her sense of thinking there. Alright. Emergency. Defeat an eye of the storm. Ew. I don't wanna. Oh, I do need to get Ganyu back out for this one. She'll help make a little bit shorter work of it. She's at. There she's at. There is Goat Wife. Wait, what? Oh. There's a thing we can do. Over here? We're way behind schedule. I guess I need to consider if I'm gonna keep Ganyu on my team, do I wanna keep Rosaria? She's been with me for so long that I really just don't want to give her up. Wow, he seems upset about life in general. 
Pine cone. I don't understand what pine cones do. I haven't used them for anything. I haven't even seen a sloth eat them. Crap, I missed. Used in two foods. Well, I may not have them, so. <laughs> Look at it go. It, oh god, what's it doing? <laughs> well, that was easy. I almost need an easy button for that one. Trying to hit them. There we go. Wow, he took that one full on. He lost like almost a quarter of his health. Oh yeah, Ganyu does some big heckin' damage. <laughs> nice. Next on the agenda. I think really the only characters that I'm missing would be Klee and Venti. In terms of, you know, good damage dealing or cheese creating characters. Alright, uh, back to Monstat. We'll go ahead and hit the Adventures Guild and get our points and stuff. Add Astro. And. Thank you for completing today's commission. So. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, then we need expedition stuffs. Itchy nose. So you can get up to 12 sweet flowers from there. Hmm. I wonder if I wouldn't be better off giving up one of these. I might do that. I don't know. Okay, so what else do we got? Radishes and carrots, mora every time. Hmm. Yeah, we'll send Kaya on this one. It's a leeway. Money. I know these were used in certain foods, but I don't remember what they were for. We'll send Amber on a milk run. <clears throat> Alright. Aw, oh, come on. That's not fair. We're 16... 
16 uh, Prima Gems away. Sadness is had. Uh, let's see. What quest can we do that we're, like, not too far from being able to complete here? We can't do that one, can't do that one. Remove the juvenile antics left on the Thunder Sakura by the Treasure Horrors. Herbs needs on hand, just give them to him on the spot. Okay, let's go there. Boink. I want to do my ten pull. <laughs> okay, over here. Hey, there's a chest over there too. We have to go get that. Get all the chests. Oh wait, that might be one that's locked behind a puzzle I ain't solved yet. And give, Smith, give. Yes, yes, the stems and leaves are all intact and they're still fresh. Thank you very much. Well, they're probably not very fresh, but uh, I just won't tell you that. Now I can start researching some new remedies. Thank you again for your effort. Here's the reward I promised. Hope it's not too paltry sum. I've troubled you so much, but I still don't know what to call you. If you're interested in helping me again, please come back later. Of course, I'll compensate you fairly. Wrong button. We need to go to the clock. I said we need to, maybe it was said the next day. It's so nice to distract. Oh. I went too far. There we go. Tasty water. Oh, he's hiding over here now. What the heck? Cause you any convenience. It's mixed a new remedy with the herbs you gather, but I don't have any test subjects to assess the efficiency of the medicine. I ask you to witness the efficiency of my new remedy. The new prescription is still unstable, and there's no way to foresee the worst consequences. Well, worst consequences is you're gonna die. Witness my success, or help me deal with the consequences. <laughs> you're gonna turn into a Healy Churl? That could be fun and exciting. Him. You alright? Well, tastes bitter, and my tongue has gone numb. Local paralysis might be caused by the. Tutteragami? Tastes horrible, but seems harmless. It may take a long time to observe the side effects of the medicine. I don't know. Hey, they're they're coming towards us. Get rid of them. Huh? Oh! Yay! Somebody to beat up on. No touchy. I love Ganyu. Oh, he didn't escape the, the sphere of effect. Nice. No touching. You're just saying that. 
Oh. We got more people. So proud of him. Consider him a worthy student, even. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Again? I'm not even sure what I was hitting, but I was getting contact with somebody or something. Oh! Keep Rosary out of it for a little bit longer. Alright, come on, recharge. Crap, I think I totally missed. Yep. Finally, do it. I think so. What up, my dude? My heart almost jumped out. Thank you for saving my life. I won't forget it. There's a normal phenomenon. Living beings affected by Tardagami will be unconsciously attracted to inauspicious energy. Because this remedy is saturated with tar Tardagami energy, it's normal that it would attract them. Anyway, I think I know how to improve this remedy now, but the last failure wasted some fresh herbs. I need some more herbs to continue with my new remedy evaluations. <clears throat> Please watch out for any useful herbs on the island. Just leave them in the bamboo basket in front of the house in the mornings. It's fine if you're busy. Maybe I can find someone else to help. And? Yay! Okay, probably shouldn't stay too close to the house. I've seen it get hit by lightning like four times now. Okay, got the berries. Alright, alright. Let's go. Come on, orange, come on, orange, come on, orange. Ah, crap. Don't be weapons. And don't be Beidou. I don't need more her. Oh. Well, that kind of <laughs> sealed that fate. All weapons. Wow, that actually hurts my feelings a little bit. My two little feelings been bruised up now. I don't think I can get anything out of Paimon's bargains. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy these up too. Okay, so I have enough for another ten pull. So we'll get back on Ganyu here. All right, what the heck? Oh, here we go. Hey, I. I think I already have her C6, though. I 
Come on. I need to go on you now. No. <laughs> I already have him C6 too. Man. And for the fun of it, we have 11 of this one. Let's see if we can get a Kaching or Mona. <clears throat> Still purple, so only four stars. At least I think that's how it works. Lion's Roar. weapons run on this one. Thanks, miHoYo. You really just don't want me to spend any money on this game, do you? Okay, so... Got the Wiggles. So I got a Diluc. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it was roughly 30 pulls ago. So I'm nowhere near pity yet either. But we're getting kind of close. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That one. So I may yet throw a little, more, little bit of money at this. We'll see. Get that off there. Okay. We tried. Throws a piece. Adeptal Summon. Secure Arborism. Okay. So those are all there. Five places and destroy the filament. Uh, found in the forest. Perhaps I might be able to help you out with the sacred secure cleansing ritual, but while in the forest you hear a strange shout. Alright, well, we are going to complete another quest. Pending I can figure out where we're going to go. There it is. Actually, over here, over here quickly. Oh, that was the wrong one. No! Wasted a splash. Eh. Okay, so one of us over here somewhere. I'm gonna look for the source of a strange voice. We can go this way. It's supposed to protect the ward. It's empty inside. Maybe it was hidden by Miss Mask's old friend. Let's go find out. The nickname. How is it? Easy to remember, right? Makes no sense. Well, forget it then. Anyway, let's find some clues. Yeah, but we gotta find a strange voice. Very important that we do this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, that's where you are. Can't knock her down. How do we get up there? There we go. <laughs> oh, shush. find them to be more of an annoyance than they need to be. No, no blink. Yeah, exactly. Don't blink. Second. Shine no longer. Okay, so we defeated Healy Churls. Is there more Healy Churls that need defeating? Yes, there is. Wait, the smell? <clears throat> A human? Where did you come from? Boy. Have a look at that big tanuki. A big tanuki. I, my name is Iori. Do whatever you want. Kill me if that be your will. Wow, the statue is talking and it's so scared that it can barely string a sentence together. I am no statue. This unseemly appearance is but the work of a temporary seal. My name is Iori, the world-renowned Baked Danuki. What, are you telling me that folk nowadays have never heard knots of Iori? Or Oi? I don't know. No one tells you you heard nothing? Well, how, how long has mine seal persisted? You aren't here to destroy me. Come now. What did you not say so earlier, then? Well, then speak. Why have you come seeking me, the Lord of Baked Danuki? The sacred secular what now? What is that? Some manner of Oni treasure? Are you really Miss Mask's maiden? Miss Mask Maiden's old friend? We're here looking for something hidden inside a Kitsune statue. Oh, why are you looking for that, might I ask? It's on that Combs account that I, that I was sealed in here for... I don't know how long it's been. Sunlight doesn't come through the Chinju forest. There's no way to tell time. Back then, I wreaked havoc everywhere to lure that sneaky Kitsune out, but it was all in vain. Hi, Triff! Thank you for the hydrate! Eventually, I decided to vent my anger by dismantling one of those Kitsune statues, and I found a comb inside, which gave me an idea. 
How is your day going, Triff? Hopefully it's coming to a close. Nakoma's was hidden inside a Kitsune statue and even had the Hakushin symbol on it, which reminded me of her white fur. Thus, I concluded immediately that it must be very important, in which case I just needed to hide the comb. And that sneaky Kitsune would surely come out. Yep, treasure's a good way to lure people out for sure. Then what happened? Then came one of the humans from the Yangu tr 3. He defeated my tribe and I, turning all of us to stone. Oops. So that's why our, our Roy, I, yeah, whatever, is afraid of humans. <clears throat> humans are so short-lived and they can't even transform. I don't get why the Kitsune likes them so much. That guy who sealed me up was especially infuriating. He even told me to strike a nice pose so that I can become nice scenery. Why that little... <clears throat> Waiting on a call for a couple of barges to hit the docks. Oh boy! You, how could you? Don't annoy him or we may never get that ward. That's right, you make this dark forest look so much more colorful. And? Uh, I guess we should just go all the way. Well, so, being sealed up is not such a bad thing after all, see? Humans don't mean you any harm. I reckon I can see where you're going, but at the same time, I also don't. Ugh. Well, you certainly could, but only if you play with the children first. That's right, I play with Paimon all the time. Yes! <laughs> hey! Shusei... Gayubi Koban and Kichiboshi, go find these three little tanuki and play with them. I would do it, but as you can see, I'm not exactly at any liberty to move. That dratted fellow was a bit sloppy when he sealed them. That's why some of them were able to get out earlier. Wait, that's not correct. We should say, rather, that we bake tanuki are more, most powerful indeed. It's only normal, therefore, that we could free ourselves from a mere human spell. Although their power can't really compare to mine, they can still use it to hide themselves. Alright then, off you go. Oh boy. Find the wee little tanuki. Oh, they're in, in the forest. Okay, so... Hi. Here. Do we need to light these tanuki on fire? I'm willing to try. Leave it to me. Okay. Tanuki number two. Wasn't there a third one? I don't know if I got all three. That's okay. Here we little tanuki. I don't mean you any harm. I just want to set you on fire a little bit. Ooh, I need one of you. Those heliotrophs seem to have something pinned against the wooden barrel. They've probably got one of their two keys over here. I'm sure you guys all got Rosaria's uh, uh, outfit, I guess. Skin just doesn't seem to roll off the tongue as well. But what do you guys think of it so far? I think she looks better this way, personally. Is a tanuki. Hey, it's cute too. Hi. 
anyway. So that's two of them. Okay. I think they are okay. I really wish I had Jean so I could compare hers, but... I guess she would be the third character that I'm really, really wanting to get my hands on, but... Probably not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, where is this Tanuki? distracted by the fact of the little purple cloud over here that I want. You didn't switch? That's fair. In some regards, I mean, they gave us this new thing. I kind of want to just check it out for a while. But, you know, it's like Barber and Kokomi. I have no reason to change back now that I have them. <clears throat> Is it up here, maybe? Is this where I need to go? I haven't been up here yet to explore. Tanuki, where is thou? Hi. There you are. Set. No. Okay, so it was down here. Entirely possible we didn't have to try and set them on fire. Could have just hurt them. I don't know. But now that we're out of that, I think, I hope, uh, we'll bring Ganyu back. Because I need Goat Wife. As per our contract. seem to be quite happy. Oh, well, no problem. Let me ask them for you. Asking if you are humans, why do you smell like tanuki? Actually, that's right. I demand an explanation. Why do you smell like tanuki? You're only asking this now? Uh, it was the Mass Shrine Maiden. Miss Mass Maiden cooked us a very lavish meal earlier, and she said that she used magic to... She secretly learned from the Baked a nuki to make it. But our magic and secret? How dare she? Hmm, could it be? Oh, come on, that sneaky kit soon. If she were still was still alive, she could at least have come over to say hello, right? She's a shrine maiden with a mask, and she called you an old friend. 
Mask. I don't know anyone with a mask. Don't know any shrine maidens either. I'm sh I sure do know a Kitsune, though. That said, that sneaky Kitsune did appear in the form of a shrine maiden before. What does the shrine maiden you speak of look like? She wears a white fox mask. Well, clues. Ding, 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 ding. Short black hair and a shrine maiden outfit. Don't know her. Never seen anyone like that in my life. Is that so? Yeah, sure. Leave it up to me. Shoichi said it was fun playing with you. Thanks. Paimon had a lot of fun too. So about that comb. Now, now. I am the world-renowned baked Anuki Iri, and I will surely keep my word. You may have the comb. But what do you plan to do with the comb anyway? It probably still smells like it soon. I really wish you'd tell me about the sacred secure the cleansing ritual because it's been too long. I don't remember. I didn't realize it was so important. You should have said so earlier. I was sealed over this thing for. Ugh, stop speaking so lightly of my misfortunes. Never mind. It's all water under the bridge now. I do also have some inkling about the barrier near the forest. Excuse me. Back when I was fighting that sneaky Kitsune, I once saw it on the eastern seashore. It looked like a thunder secure with a Tori gate, right? Back when the guy was battling the demons or whatever, I was worried that some of them might come out to hurt us, so I used magic to put a seal on that place. Let me see, the seal should be under a cliff face to the east. Kichiboshi, take them there and remove the seal. Enough jibber jabber, go now. If you're running that sneaky kid soon, remember to send her my regards. Just say, let me think. You've ticked me off real good time. Good this time, you jerk. Come back and fight me. Our contest isn't over, and help me break the seal while you're at it, would you? It's not as, not as if I couldn't do it myself or anything, but you still owe me a favor. Also, Gibu Coben says he misses you. Guess it's the Tanukis that he's talking about there. <laughs> Mm. It's a lot to remember. Well, Paimon, don't have the memory of a goldfish. Down that way. Ooh. Gimme, 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 gimme. getting Beidou. Or Noelle. Noelle will work too. Uh, oh, Beidou's up on the list. I trust you. The amethyst lumps are good for, but we've got them. Wait, where are we going? Oh, we're in we're in the area. I gotcha. Oh, this guy. There's another one way down there, didn't see it first. He'll still be there here in a second. He's okay. Hey, you actually shot me! Oh 
Okay, so. Somewhere over here is where we need to be. I don't think we need to be up, but... Well, up that far. <clears throat> Come on, game. I'm in the area. What am I looking for? Definitely an excellent question because I have no idea what it is I'm looking for. Location of a barrier, but I don't see a barrier. Hey, more of those amethyst melon, no, lavender melons. Okay, so somewhere here, we're missing something. Really? Bunch of bare stones. Some kind of magic to... Whoa, the stones disappeared. Yay, we have a new place to go. That's kind of spooky. Seems kind of fun. Thank you. Let's play hide and seek next time. Hey, what kind of cool stuff's in here? Ready? Are you ready, kids? Okay. One, two. Oh man. Yeah. So. On. Where's the other ones? There's one and two. There's three. So, it has to go to this one, and then this one. Is it going to go through the tree? Ah, so it goes up. I see. Let's get up there and, well, if we can, get up there and study this thing a little bit and see what we gotta do. So the starting point goes over hit two of them at the same time. What is this nonsense? Okay, so one need this one to be two. Okay. And then I need is there one over here? <clears throat> that ain't one, is it? Okay. Nope. Okay, so one, two, three. And three down here. 
this one at four? Does that make sense? I think I got it wrong. Okay, so two is up ahead and that one there. So those two need to be two. That one needs... That's not what I wanted to push. Dang it. Okay, hang on. So three. Really? That's uh, kind of not what I wanted to happen, but if you say so. Oh, hi. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you much, Drift. Hopefully every time you're hitting me with a hydrate, you better be taking a hydrate too. Just saying. That was well done. Whether it was dealing with Iori's illusory tricks or the way you defeated those demons. Well, it was just one demon. Ah! It's a Kitsune. So Paimon might have said, but this trick of yours is getting real old, Miss Mask Maiden. Over time I open a gosh. Monster. Ah. This does horrible. It's just chemicals. Ah, so I disappointed you then. I apologize. I'll do better next time. That is true. So as for Iori, is he doing well? But he's very well. Turned to stone, but very well. I see. Usually when baked and Nuki make a mess, we don't send anyone to deal with them as long as they don't cross the line. After all, although they are mischievous, they are kind-hearted and simple, just like children. To be fair, water won't keep you up for three days. True enough, but you're not supposed to stay up for three days, my friend. When I already dared to steal the ward for the cleansing ritual, well, that was enough of getting punished. Since the <clears throat> Yugu 3 were mentioned in your story, then it was probably Kamu Kamuna and Anmiyuji from a past age who did the deed. He also mentioned a sneaky kitsune. Miss Mass Maiden, are you Iris kitsune friend? That's quite the compliment. He was actually talking about the daughter of the Hakushin bloodline, also known as the Kitsune Saigu. She was worshipped as the Kitsune goddess in many places long ago. <laughs> the monster gives you wiggles? That's all you're going to say about it? The Sky Kitsune and Earth Kitsune were once her emissaries. After she left, they all turned into stone statues to preserve their power and await her return. 
And when she does, they will all walk the Bay Bayaku Plain together once more. Following her departure, the bloodline and mythical might of the Kitsune on Narakami Island today have dwindled to less than one-tenth of what they used to be. Oh, that. This is what happened. Did you know that Aori's full name is Aori, the hidden protector of the grove? Aori may be dull and impish, but he is also kind and loyal. That's why the Kitsune Segu aimed to guide him to the right path a long time ago. In order to make sure that he would comply with the Electro Arkans rule... The Kitsune Saigu set the two of them up and got Iori appointed as a protector of the grove. That made him responsible for the safety of the Chinju Forest. Ah, nose was plugging up. That's why when the world became pitch black, Kitsune Saigu was worried that Iori might die while fighting against the inexorable evil in his capacity as protector of the forest. So she used a game of hide-and-seek, something the baked Anuki are good at as a way to challenge him. Lose a game of hide-and-seek. Is that so? Well, go on then. Go and hide. My home turf, you will never find me. I do not believe you. Now make sure you find yourself a good spot to hide. Do not get found. Iori, whatever happens, they're all my magical tricks. Don't fall for them and don't show up, she said. Of course, you sneaky kit soon. I will defeat definitely defeat you this time, said Ayori, and that's how their endless contest began. So, so Ayori is still waiting for her to come back and find him. Based on what you said about Ayori, that appears to be the case. But after a while, Ayori sensed that something was wrong and started wreaking havoc. He even stole the ward in an attempt to lure the Kitsune Sigu out. Well, that's not what I wanted. There. He didn't realize that it was something required for the sacred secure cleansing ritual. He just thought it was that a comb of some importance to the Kitsune. Later on, Kamuna sealed him into stone due to that misstep. She was swallowed up by the darkness. In the end, after that darkness was defeated, she refer returned to the great land of Narakami along with the soil. So she died? As you can see, I'm just Kazari, a shrine maiden who wants to borrow your strength to destroy these evils. Miss Mask Kazari, it's really strange that you know so many things about the past that most people don't. You even know how to use baked tanuki magic and cook tanuki dishes. But you don't know much about the present. It's almost like you're someone from a few centuries ago. Oh, are we striking a nerve? We also some saw someone who looked like you in our memories. She even had the same name as you. You must... Be just like Iori, a baked Anuki who was sealed several centuries ago. No, that's not who I... I... I inherited her memories. As for other things, please forgive me. I cannot speak of them yet. I made you a promise back there in the cave, so when the time comes, I will reveal everything. I guess we have no choice but to leave it at that. If you say so, Paimon will have faith in Miss Masked Maiden too. Thank you for your understanding. Now we must part here for the time being. Part and body alone for our hearts drift with the clouds. Well, that's kind of nice. I will pray for your success beneath the well in Konda village. I shall be next to the thunder secure root that you cleansed successfully. When the tree roots at all five places have been cleansed, please look for me there. So we have more of those battles to go. Won't cheat. Alright. Hi, They are rather adorable. Oh, there it is. Where'd it go from here? Hmm. Ah. Is that 
purple haze always there? Nay, I am but a statue. A handsome mighty statue, yes, but still. <clears throat> hey there, I Iori. How did you- wait, no, the scent. Ah, so it's you. It has been so long, I cannot recognize your scent. Dude, it's been five minutes. And you haven't changed at all, or are you still scared of humans and stuck in stone? What do you mean by that? <clears throat> but a human seal, if I were to but try harder... Well, regardless, I see you've taken... I see you have taken good care of the little ones. Yeah, the English need some help here. My little tanuki often say that they enjoy playing with their nice-smelling yellow-furred aunt. Purple haze. All in my brain. Ah. Yellow-furred aunt. And here I thought the humans were all the same as that yellow... That fellow who had a sealed. Wicked and scary. But it seems that you're still some good eggs amongst you. Most of the people we've met are good people. You got sealed because you stole that comb. And I've returned it, so if you ever meet that fellow who learned magic from Raisin Boo, Bow? Raisin Bow? Tell him to get me out of the stone. And when you get down to it, everything is that sneaky Kitsune's fault. I really complains like an old geezer, huh? Neither your hands nor legs are made of stone, so you've been to many places, surely. We came right over the ocean, you know? Oh, Mondstadt and Leeway Adventures. So there are many lands abroad. Very impressive. I have been subsisting off reports from the little tanuki all this while, and so do not know that the outside world is like. Once upon a time I stood at the summit of Mount Yo Yogu and saw a very, very high mountain on the other side of the ocean. It was possibly even taller than Mount Yogu. I still wonder even today what that place was. Dragon Spine? Just thinking about that name makes my tummy feel cold. Goodness knows why that fellow wants to go there. As I said earlier, you are fine folks, yes? So, <laughs> I can smell this request coming a mile away. Please don't send us to Dragon Spine. Even like this, I'm still the hidden protector of the grove, defender of Jinju Forest, and thusly appointed by Her Excellency herself. If I was not sealed in stone, I would certainly use eight in eight tatami large. Hmm. Though I cannot move on my own power, little children can do so. As such, I would like to ask you to take the little tanuki out to train. Hmm. We can't understand what could. Kichibushi says. So wouldn't traveling together be kind of tough? We Tanuki understand human speech by nature. It is you humans that do not speak ours. Well, yeah. We like to chat as we travel, you know? Just like Paimon does. Yeah, you emergency food. Now that I consider it, didn't someone once use our magic to make you some food? Now, I may look like this, but making you a meal that can allow you to understand Kibichi's speech is hardly impossible, nonetheless. Of course, Paimon's all woohoo food. Damn it, Paimon. Don't you underestimate my culinary prowess. I can't be sure where I already got it from. You and Paimon have a feast. It's very delicious off Irish student tummy. Oh boy. Amori, you know, the very same who once made sashim sashimi platters out of mud balls and tanuki for her to utterly deceive the four oni of Ogata. What did you make the meal we just had out of? Some questions are very best left unanswered. Mmm. M&Ms are the best. White fur, yellow fur. Who 
are you calling white fur? The hair. Very strong, can understand. And you'd better remember that. Paimon doesn't grasp the fact that she's just emergency food. Nobody got to remember her nothing. Nothing. Squelch, squelch, lavender melon. What? At least we kind of sort of communicate. Whatever the case, let's go back and see Irie again. We're taking Kabushi out on a long journey after all. At least we get the cute one. Hmm. <clears throat> sea white fur, yellow fur, very happy. Leven lavender melon kapow. What? Quite the bright spark, aren't you? Kapow is kapow. Lavender melon is lavender melon. Well, it seems that communications have been established without any problems. Uh, my culinary skills are as fine as ever. Well, Harry, here's the thing. Tell her how the attempted interactions are going. That's how it is. Not to worry, it is because you are not yet used to Kabushi's aura. Take it slow. The more used to his aura you are, the better you shall understand him. So, it's kind of like a friendship level, I guess. We'll understand him better the longer we're with him. Hmm, let me think about that. Whatever the case, do not be in a rush. Rush no good. Hmm. I will have you know that I am Iori, the long-lived king of Baka... Baked Danuki. I simply do not put such premiums on time as you humans do. <laughs> Even though he spent most of his time sealed in that statue. Then why can you speak to humans just fine, Iori? Such impertinence. Rather, you, ask, you should ask why you humans may speak to us. Having lived as long and become as powerful as I have, I have had at least some interactions with humanity. Long, long time ago, I often spoke with Tengu, Kitsun, Oni, Yokai, and humans alike. And while human stories often concern themselves, at least half of them involve Bak baked Danuki who transformed into humans. Half of the remaining half are indeed about humans themselves, and the other half are about all the other Yokai. But even in this half, a good half concern we Tanukai who clad ourselves in the guise of the other yokai. Then half again. Oh my god, this is getting... I'm not here to do math, Iori. Okay? I'm not doing math. You may see that I am the greatest of them all. Naturally, speaking to you young ones is no tall order at all. 5 over 16 to Iori, yes. What's 5 over 16? Is it something that one may eat? It sounds delicious, one to eat. Percentage of stories that you, you're involved in. Why, of course. You have much to learn from my powers, you do. Come to think of it, we're starting to get that Kaboshi is saying, aren't we? White fur smart. That might have been praised, but Paimon sure doesn't feel good about it. Take him to see the world and train. Why, when I was but a young Tanuki, I too went on a pilgrimage to 18 sites in Inazuma along the trail of the great baked Tanuki Sukomo, never one straying from the Tanuki's path. Only thus did I reach my present stat stature. That why you were sealed in stone? Mm. <laughs> the kid's picking on him now. What's that place I already mentioned earlier? There's a mountain we should climb it. Ah, oh, Paimon's been waiting for a chance to say something cool like that. Mountain there. Sounds cold. Don't let your tummy get cold now. You'll catch a cold otherwise, and if you do, you won't be able to perform using your belly drum. Also, remember to eat properly and follow Ant Yellow Fur like a good boy. Following Ant Yellow Fur. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
Okay. And we only get six days to do it. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Do, 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 do. Yeah, at least it's next to that. And since we're going to Icy Sp icy Mountain here, we probably should pull Ganyu. <coughs> ah, we can get uh, some Hu Tao magic going in here. Send one, send them all. And we didn't even have Ganyu, we had Beidou. Okay, so. Down yonder, huh? Stretch a little bit, move around, get the blood flowing again. Ow! Even though we managed to raise that huge pillar on the mountaintop, Dragon Spine is just super cold no matter how many times we come here. White fur weak. Smart, but weak. Not afraid of the cold, huh? It's very cold. Very, very cold. <laughs> Why'd you call Paimon weak then? But very fun. White everywhere. Oh, you mean the snow. Things fall from Sacred Sakura. Sakura Fubuki? Super cold stuff around Dragon Spine, but Paimon didn't expect that you knew of Sakura Fubuki. Guess that's the Baka Danuki of Inazuma for you. Kind of like a puppy that's gotten his first winner. Mountain with snow to be cold, or the cold mountain has snow. That's a good question, actually. What do you think snow's actually made of? It's probably Kaya's fault. Don't forget, don't get frostbite. Doubt that Kaya's that strong. We should probably ask someone knowledgeable about, like Lisa, about this stuff in the future. Dragon Spine really is cold, though. When we were last trying to reach the summit, Paimon was so cold that her brain almost stopped working. Paimon, your brain has to start working first. But the view's great, though. Since we can see from this place from Mount Yoga, we probably could see Mount Yoga from Dragon Spine Summit, too. And Starglone's cavern's really deep, too. We might be, maybe we might find some never-before-seen treasure in there. <sighs> Looks like the little... Furry rascal likes treasure too. Well, there's no good life or food without treasure. Pretty smart. Want to play in snow. Hey, don't catch a cold now. Just holler there's treasure. Super fast. You definitely got some moves, little buddy. Hot, hot, but fun. Either Gaby Coben or Soshi, you turned into a torch the previous time. You two enjoyed turning into torches. Become human things can play with humans. Or else humans not play with Kichibushi. Don't you worry, Kichibushi. T.I. and Paimon will play with you. Definitely like a little kid. Just to carry you over. Flip flap kapow. But. Yeah, I'm confused. Pardon. Floats to the other side. What in the world was that? I wish we could have seen it. He's all the way over. Oh. We are totally not going to make it very far here, are we?
Oh, did he freeze? Slow, slow, weak. That isn't cute at all. Don't laugh at people, Kichibushi. Laughing, not good. Where should we put it? Laughing's good, yeah, but laughing at other people isn't. I understand. Sorry, Aunt Yellow Fur. I guess we're Big Sis? Okay. Paimon's name is Paimon, and Big Sis Yellow Fur is T.I. You've got to remember that. Difficult to remember. Bothersome. White Fur and Yellow Fur. Still, what was that trick Kichibushi used? One moment he created that balloon with the swoosh, and then swish, he went floating right over here. It looked pretty cool. Eight Tatami Kapow. What in the world is that? Not really getting a bit more comprehensible than Squelch Squelch Lavender Melon. White fur and yellow fur not have? White fur flip flap, yellow fur flip flaps, so white fur and yellow fur having. Mm, I'm starting to get a headache. Well, you're not wrong. Alright, where are we going to next? Burning. Oops. Creatures. Snowboars? Sealed? Well, no, just trapped in ice, you know. Dragon Spine is a super cold place. Speaking of which, do you want to take a picture of Kabushi here? Sure, why not? Oh, actually hit the thing. So it's gonna be a nice memory to leave of your trip. Also help us prove diary that we did take you traveling. White fur strange, okay. Oh. Ah, so it even detects whether it's numpad enter or the other. Looks like we startled something huge. Ah, the Snow Bear King again? Excuse me, I kind of need to heal. Stop that. I'm not impressed by this guy. Excuse you, Rosaria, what you doing? <laughs> uh, steak? Where do I have the steaks at? There they are. We're kind of suffering. 
Okay, what do we got for defense or strength? Strength would be great. Shield strength, shield strength, shield strength. Good lord, what's up with all this defense? Yeah, we got three of those. Oh, good night, you towel. pain in the butt. I hate fighting that stupid thing. 50 seconds before that can be used again. Okay, what do we got? Paimon's gotta eat, so I've gotta hunt. Yes, we need to throw her under the bus and then back over her. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> Alright, did the picture come out okay? Now watch, you can't even see it. That this just like kabushi this is you kabushi kabushi me only one mm, this isn't you snow mountain has baked tanuki but no smell that's not quite it dragon spine doesn't have any baked tanuki this is just you it's confused so it's artwork white for silly it's kind of annoying but paimon doesn't know how to refute him either Stop laughing, only laugh together good. Gold star, yay! <laughs> Let's stop here for now. You're too you're tired too, aren't you? Let's go back and report to Irie, shall we? He did seem pretty worried about this whole thing. Alright. Um I still need to go activate that one uh, portal, waypoint, thing. Do I have any to give to it? Eh, just the one. That's not a big deal. 20 to go. Alright, let's get everybody else healed. up. No, wrong archer. Wrong archer. Time to begin work. And we'll go from here. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of Inazuma in terms of the whole the enemies that it brought, because some of them are a pain in the shorts. But the landscape's extremely pretty. <laughs> Nothing hurt with all? No colds caught? No hung Not hungry, I hope? Let's say no to some food. It went quite smoothly, do not worry. It's no cold, but very fun. Why is Kabushi sealed up upon this vellum? Vellum? Is this a hell painting? How comes it to your hands? <laughs> a hell painting. I now have new, new names for pictures. Yes. Hell painting. I love it. Whew. 
Two kibushis. But how? What magic is this? Oh, I understand. It's magic, isn't it? Much progress have you made in so short a time. Let us explain, would you? Come on. I'm... But I am not the world-renowned king of Bak Danuki. Of course I knew what this Kimura thing was. I'm merely testing Kibushi. Kichibushi. There we go. Well, whatever the case, it appears that Kichibushi's training proceeds most well indeed. And I leave the rest to you. When I was yet a young Tanuki, I once traveled to 18 sacred sites treading the Tanuki's path as I went. That was how I became the mighty lord of Baked Danuki. Presently only has about half of mine stature in those days, so perhaps eight places shall do for his training regimen. But whatever, where should we bring Kichibushi next? As good people should, and you are quite sturdy for humans too. Kichibushi will learn much by traveling with you. Thus I shall s let you decide where he shall go. Don't worry, leave this to us. I'm on think. Places should we visit? Don't hurt your head. I'll talk again once Paimon's figured this all out. For now, Paimon's kinda hungry. Um, is that it? Really? Hmm. Okay, uh, I guess we're. Don't we have a job to do? To review location detail. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh! Claim rewards. Okay, yeah, that's kind of important. We need these, like, really bad. What's this one? Can get this accomplished. We have six days, so we kind of need to get it done as quickly as possible. And up here. Come here, come here. No! Yes! I got it. Haha! Sadly, I don't get the other three, but uh, two's better than none. <laughs> this is Ganinsto Forest. Legend has it this is where Rex Lapis defeated that uh, many-headed water snake thingamabob. What was his name again? Right, that's the one, Osile, the overlord of the Vortex. This is where it was defeated by Rex Lapis's stone spears and sealed. We fought with it too, you know. Atop Ningwen's Jade Chamber. Wait, so that was what you were gushing over? Come on, Paimon's telling a story over here. It does look different from the ones in Inazuma. Probably never seen a crystal fly that wasn't purple. Well, guess that's true. Alright, alright. Why don't we catch one for him? True, but you've got more experience at catching them. Aw, oh, come on. I guess I've got plenty of them. The crystal core really isn't golden. Come to think of it, Paimon's never really noticed this, even though you've caught lots of crystal flies in the past. That's what they call disillusionment, you know, the thing that happens when you get older. Looks like you're in need of training yourself, Paimon. Ooh. White fur can do it! Don't you? You can do it, Paimon. You're the one who's training. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointing. Why are the crystal cores of geocrystal flies not gold? Gold crystal fly. Why not gold? Huh. Apologies. The yawns are progressively getting more and more. 
I'm having a harder time keeping them from happening. Oh well then, in any case, let's proceed as we planned. Time to take Kichibushi to see the Alcor. The Al what? The what what him now? Oh, wanted to see the ship? I'm so big, so big on the water. Must be heavy, why not sinking? That's because the Alcor is a ship. The mud boat sink, I already tell story. Story of rabbit, baked Danuki, and the mud boat. Well, the Alcor isn't made of mud, that's why it won't sink. I will not mud ship not sink. You're becoming more fluent, Kichibushi, but at the same time, how are we supposed to answer this question? Yeah, let's try this one and see how well this works out for it. Is that how it is? Paimon gets it. Didn't get it. Don't worry, Kichibishi. Someday when you're older, you'll be as smart as Paimon. Then you'll, then you'll understand all these things. Why ships float, why it snows in Dragonspine. You'll know it all. I'm not sure you know either, Paimon. Well, she doesn't. Hey, come on. <laughs> yep, whatever the case. We can see the Alcor from here. Let's take a photo of Kichibushi. Sure, why not? That works. Next, let's bring Kichibishi on board the Alcor. Not good. If boat sinks, this boat won't sink. Trust me. Exactly, and that's how we came to meet you and Ari. So don't worry, you'll be fine. Steady hand, and so are the rest of her crew. Basically... Oh, no. Hmm, basically the ship is the safest place in the high seas. But what about my cool little ship? Also, I think there was, uh, flowers up here, right? Because we still need, like, three or four. And it would be really awesome if there were the three or four that I need up here. Oh crap, it's a bunch of mages. Man. Eh, we'll just go to the ship. I think this will be a little easier. Alright, so where we where do we need to take the Tanuki? Huh? Not afraid of heights? If you aren't, let's head up the mast. Paimon loves high spots. Said that Kitsune idiots and smoke like high spots. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, we go up there. Okay, so we start here. Oh, I'm sorry, I just drop kicked you and I didn't mean to do that. That was most rude of me. Bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, bum. So, Moo, if you're still there, how goes the uh, collection of Prima Gems? <laughs> Got seven fates. Nice. Well, good luck, friend. I hope you get the last three relatively quickly.
No, 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 no. Dang it. Ah, it's a pain in the butt. Ran into a roadblock on the quest. Is there something I can help you with? Can't you climb around it? Ah, oh, there we go. The view's great, isn't it? Many mountains over there. What place is that? Hmm... Right, that should be Mount Yogu over there, and beneath it, that's where Chinju Forest is. Main quest of Dragon Spine. Oh, I'm so sorry, friend. I do not envy you that. I hate Dragon Spine with such a passion. So far, I already across the sea. Into the mountains. Yeah, that one I struggled with for a long time. I finally forced myself to sit down and actually do them on a previous stream a month or two ago. That's right, but we'll be with you all the way. Well then, where to next? Is there somewhere familiar where we can find some good food? Good good food? Good idea. Kichibishi knows what's up. Eating all the good food in the world is good training too, you know. We'll surpass you pretty quick if you don't wise up. Climbing the mast was sure was tiring, but white fur can fly. Eh, details. Curse you. Stupid Paimon. Never the case, we'll stop here today. Paimon's got to have a good think about where we'll go next. And there's a... Uh, okay. So the energy noise that we were hearing must have been the... Uh... Oh, there's a chest right there. Heck yeah. Ooh, that was close. I suppose it wasn't too much trouble. I didn't even realize there was a chest up there. Is there anything up to here? Actually, probably want to go this way. And swing around. No! <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Okay, so... Even details. Claim those rewards. This time you're bringing him to check out the cuisine in other lands. After all, treasure and food never betrays. Everything is negotiable except over time. Okay, so Ah, so we bring him here for food. That's a smart move. And apparently we haven't taken him back to his dad. Anyway. <clears throat> Hi, Sarah. Why, welcome. And who's this? Some new Baron Bunny model? Oh. <laughs> Kichibushi. This is a new friend of ours from Inazuma. I see. Well then, welcome to Good Hunter, Kichibushi. It's incredible. I heard Cirrus mention that it was surrounded by thunderstorms and that there's lightning everywhere. Like, what happens when Miss Lisa gets angry? <laughs> Seems quite terrifying, to be honest. What's this got to do with Lisa? Yes, I wish to hear more. So we're here at Good Hunter to treat Kichibishi to some authentic Mondstadt cuisine. So, Sarah, could we have one sweet, my dame, and... My apologies, but we can't actually take orders right now because... How should I explain this? I suppose you can see that we're booked to capacity.
Um. Um. No. No, no, I don't see that. You know what? I want proof of this, so, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna do this. I think you're, you're jipping me. What the heck? There we go. Alright, we'll save that. That's a liar. But there's no one here. Captain K put in a very expensive order for several dozen people at the Goth Grand Hotel. Our chefs are currently busy as can be. He probably has some... I can make some too. That's right. There's no going without food while you, with you around. Make lavender melon? Grilled melon? No, no. Seriously, just how much do you like lavender melons? Well, you can use the open air stove over here anytime. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. You mean you're gonna love it, right? You see, Kichibishi wants to eat too. Don't disappoint Pi- Er, don't disappoint him now. <laughs> Yay, disappoint! I <laughs> uh, guess we should cook one of these. Oh, wait, uh... May make a special dish. Like, I'd rather just have the 12% chance of an extra one popping up. Oh, come on. Nice. Never seen this before, but smells good. Call it even T.I.'s signature dish. Yeah, we have made tons of them along the way. We've eaten a lot of them, too. No lack of supplies out in the wild, after all. Did he eat too much? It delicious. Amazing. There are things better than lavender melon. Well, yeah. Leave Paimon some? No. None for Paimon. I actually remember T.I.'s name. So do baked Danuki get smarter as they eat more delicious food? What white fur say? <laughs> Spymon? <laughs> You're so annoying. Better get used to it. Kichibishi will try. Sorry, Pymon. Pymore. It's not Pymore, it's Pymon. It's okay, though. Pymon's not mad anymore. Delicious, sweet, madame. Very good. Thank you. And then he remembers the names of dishes just fine. Well, you're just Paimon. It was good. Not lavender melon or seagrass or berries, but it was so tasty. Training very fun. Speaking of which, since we're here in Mondstadt... Animo Archon? Like the Electro Archon. That's exactly right. The Animo Archon is Mondstadt's god, just like the Electro Archon is Inazuma's. Very scary. Don't worry, it's just a statue, not the real Archon. <laughs> we'll go look at the tone deaf bard in statue form. I completely missed the text popping up there at the bottom of my screen. I apologize. But I don't think you need to hear me ramble on about what's being said, do you? Oh, 
come on, we've been over this. It's just a big stone statue made to look like the Animal Archon. It won't come alive and hit people with kapow. The statue can't do that, and the Animal Archon won't either. Take Kichibishi up to the top. I don't like climbing this thing. It's kind of a pain in the butt. We need to put a ladder or scaffolding up here so we can do this more easily. Mostly because I just want to be lazy. Here, climb this. Thank you. You see, nothing to be afraid of. Animal Ark and very tall. Taller than I already. Very hard, too. Tall and hard. Paimon's just not just not going to cover the differences between the statue and the real guy. Gentle soul, but he's a bit of a flake sometimes. Yeah, we'll go with the nicer. He's not very reliable. Did you sit in the hands before? I think so. You know, Paimon wonders if Barbara's discovered the thing with the holy liar to Himmel. Hopefully she hasn't. He really likes his pictures now. Um. Bwah! How do I fix that? I can't. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Come on, don't rush. Call came in, Night Moon Freak. Well, stay safe, Triff. Don't let them work you too hard, friend. Thank you very much for the lurk, and thank you for hanging out with us. Hope your evening continues to go well. Go back, show our animal arc on hands bigger than Iori's. I don't think any comparison can be made here. Iori, so, so weak. <laughs> hey, hey, stop teaching Kichibushi bad stuff. No, it's fun. It's like teaching a kid a naughty word. It's fun. Because you ain't got to deal with the repercussions. Are you serious? He can grow very, very big. Bigger than 100 tatami. I'm already very powerful, but Kichibushi will become more powerful. Why do you want to get stronger? It's right, you're pretty strong as is. You can create that gliding airbag. You're about as half as powerful as Paimon for sure. Yeah, okay. Kichibushi must become more powerful and use stronger magic. With stronger magic, Kichibushi can make Iori not stone. So Kichibushi must train with T.I. and Paimon. So that's how it is. Okay, so he's trying to get him to unseal. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Hey, you remembered Paimon's name. Well, since we've had some Monster Cuisine, time to play Le pay Leeway Harbor a visit. We haven't tried Wenman Restaurant's food in quite a mile, too. We just ate, you know. Different lands, different stomachs, don't you know? <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a new one. Next stop, Wanman Restaurant. Okay. Uh, there it is. Let's heck and go. I need more water. My throat's starting to dry out a little bit. Ugh. Excuse me, sir. I would like some food. Chef Mao, we'd like some black, black back perch stew. Good lord, that's difficult to say. Guess right now, I'm very sorry, but we're not taking orders at the moment. What's going on? A knight from Monstech came with a huge order. A feast for several dozen people, no less. He wanted to bring it to, uh, where was the place again? Oh, yes, that's exactly it. How did you know? That's Kaya. 
really sorry, but it'll be a moment before we can take your order. As you can see, our works all work our walks are all busy at the moment. Not that I have any idea how that guy is going to take all those dishes back. I just hope he doesn't waste them. It really was very sudden. In fact, we're running so low on ingredients as Yingling's having to go out and help gather some G joy in chilies. Oh! Hey, you can see him. This is Kabishi. Kishibushi. This guy here's a baked tanuki. He was on a journey to hone his skills. I'm very sorry, then, Kichibushi. Speaking of that, my girl Jingling's got a friend named Goba who loves eating as well. The two of you might just get along. Ah, I totally forgot. What's going on over there? How did we not check the dates? So we booked seats at Luli Pavilion in Xinhue Kiesk a few months back. We were planning to try the Pinnacles of Lee Cuisine and Ye Cuisine before returning to Mondstadt. <clears throat> but we wound up booking the seats for the same day. Should have checked those dates. What are we supposed to do now? No, that won't do. No matter which one we go to first, our prior fullness will affect the experience to follow. No matter which place we go to first, it won't be fair to the other, and certainly not to the cuisine they represent. That would be doing a disservice to gourmet food. Stop taking turns to talk. Paimon's getting tired just listening to, to you two. So to sum it up, you've booked both Luili Pavilion and Zinyu Kiosk for today, but you can only go to one, right? Uncle, Help Uncle Brown Fur and Aunt Brown Fur go solve problem. Little crit critter saying something. He says that we can help Uncle Brown Fur and Aunt Brown Fur go to one of the places. I'm a big sister, not an aunt. <laughs> Passing a message, okay? But going in our place, huh? It is certainly possible, but it does feel like a waste. I think it's a fine idea. It would be irresponsible for us to cancel at the last minute anyway. But it took us so long to wait our turn. Come on, Frankie. We've got time. We'll just book another slot. Anyway, weren't you all about that Zinwe Kiosk seafood yesterday? Let's go to Zinwe Ka Kiosk first. We can leave the Liu Li 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 Pavilion booking to these rather unusual travelers in this little animal? I'm Jerry. Just go to Liu Li Pavilion and give Li Shi my name. The dish. It has to be Li Shi. Anyway. My name. The dishes should already be booked. We get food. Alright. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh. Hey, we can cheat again. I like it when we can cheese things. Oh, you. Hi, lady. Welcome to Lilu Pavilion. Do you have a reservation? Mr. Jerry, please wait a moment. Let me check. Indeed, you do have a reservation today. Well then, this way, please. did say he pre-booked the dishes, but this really is a lot. Jerry and Frankie really going to eat all this by themselves? Hmm. We get all the food. Mm, very tasty. Can tell just from watching Paimon eat. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Humans are very powerful. They can make such tasty food. Better than baked Anuki food. Come to think of it, what is baked Anuki food made from? It tastes as good as it looks, and it does look good, but there's a kind of emptiness to it. Baked Anuki is made from leaves. You mean vegetables? Leaves kapow is leaves kapow. Leaves kapow. Very tasty. <laughs> Might be best not to investigate too deeply. Paimon's also curious, what's Kaya doing? A lot of food from Good Hunter and Wanman Restaurant. This guy's scheme this time. 
Ding dong, ding dong, special delivery for the Fatui. Hey there, here's a gift from the Knights of Avonius. Finally acknowledging our power, then. Well, it's too late to suck up to us now. Still, what's in it? Cold platter feast for Mondstadt and Leeway. I don't even know what's going on with this text now. No way something as silly as that could happen, right? Just like baked Anuki. No, so it's just Paimon, or is this food better than the last time? Why is that? Oh, he was on official business. Consultant this, right of parting that. The food wasn't half as good by the time we were done talking. Speaking of that, you know Kichib Kichibushi. We actually ate here together with a Fatui Harbinger and Rex Lapis himself. Kichibushi once heard I already talk about fat twigs. What? Many fat twigs in the forest. Very hard, very comfortable to sit on. We meant the Fatui. You know, I doubt the baked Danuki know anything about the Fatui. The, that's true. Since we're here in Leeway, let's find a place where we can take a commemorative photo for Kichibushi. This winding mountain path to the northern entrance to Leeway Harbor, isn't there? That should fit the bill. Alright. Yeah. Ah, here we go. <laughs> All the way over there? Wow. Uh, hey. Heck yeah. Teleport! All the little things this game offers. Oh yeah, this is one heck of a pot uh, spot. Look at that view. Face Ti and hold still. That is a good picture. Yep, that looks great. You've really got a knack for this, huh? This place is very pretty, very different from forest. But all the boats down there are not sinking. Well, Kichibushi, was today's training fun? Not sure if his training is meant to be considered fun. He said playing is also training, not to leave Tanuki Path. If play forgotten, we'll leave Tanuki Path. Leaving the Tanuki path, what's going to happen if you do that? Tanuki who leave the path explode. Holy crap, he's got him convinced. <laughs> what? Eight tatami explode. Leaf will disappear. Fur will turn into seagrass and belly drum turn into big teapot. Then Tanuki becomes skinny like weasels. No more magic. I was pretty sure that Oori's fibbing. Training is very fun, very happy. But they're the same answer. Why would you do that? You know what? Let's stop for today. Don't want rest, still wants training with TI and Paimon. Don't worry, we'll think about where we should go next, alright? some sauce. So what's that put us up to? Um, probably not even a hundred. Oh, wow, that's surprising. We're over 200 now. Uh, let's see. Better grab the rewards for this one. Looks like we still have three more, four more to do. But... That is probably going to be a thing for another evening. We may end up having to do it tomorrow, simply because Wednesday we're doing Pokemon, so... Uh, let's see. Oh, my friend Catania's playing Minecraft, I think. 
Yes, Minecraft. I haven't raided Catania in forever, mostly because she hasn't been online to raid. Alright. Well, thank you very much, Moo and Triff, for hanging out with me and keeping me company. You guys are amazing, as always. Hopefully you had fun and uh, inspired you to play some more of the game and get stuff caught up. Of course, if you need any assistance with something, just let me know and I'll do what I can to help. I'll be up for another hour or so. Let's start this raid and get it going. Um, if you don't know of Catania, she is a wonderful, sweet, chaotic little fox now. She used to be Kate, but she is now fox. She's very adorable, and I hope you'll give her a chance to entertain you as well. But uh, thank you very much again. Hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful night, and I will catch you on the next live stream. See you later, friends.